All right, wonderful people, lovers of freedom. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to each and every one of you. Welcome back to Let's Talk TV, your one and only YouTube platform where they're giving a back to back update on how things they be, on how things they share for Biafra land and beyond. If you're joining us for the first time, remember to subscribe and turn on your notifications too. Yes, my people, do not also forget to also like and share this news because of course so that uh, you will not be on the only one cost with the knowledge we end up giving you any time any day yes my people share this news for your friends and family so that they would also hear it especially if they are in support of this movement okay my people the latest one will be the guy right here be say yes uh, he don't bust for here as uh, he was my people, we know as it did take hot nowadays. Every single day we improve. Every single day we go harder. Every single day things get better. And what for our enemies? And that is the truth of the matter. Every single thing that is being done here and there is not is not something you would think of and you would um, relate with and feel that uh, we are not going further. We are going further in every way. We are making waves in every way. In every way you can think of. And that is why not a whole lot of things cannot actually move us right now. A whole lot of things cannot shake our grounds because we are on the level of being one of the strongest ever. And that is the truth. We are on the level of being one of the strongest. And we are getting there, and that is the truth of the matter. On what we have for today, my people, he don't bust. I say, he was. My people, we have he was in a dope state <laughs> as they've decided to come out. Yes, my people, he this does nothing but give us each day we get progress from everything we've ever wanted, and that is the truth of the matter. The dope states people, he was in a dope states, join hands and say that they, they are going to join in the Biafra struggle in the Igbo unity. And this, my people, has uh, put, uh, of course, Jagaban, the so-called Jagaban, and, uh, and his cohorts in, <laughs> in a big, big mess. My people, it has stunned them because, of course, they did not expect things like this to be happening. But, of course, uh, what Chukwe Kike has, uh, has said would happen would surely happen. Those things you think that are, that are impossible would surely happen. All things you think that, are, that cannot be done would be done because... That is how it is, clearly. And it is not something that we would think of and be like, oh, 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 no. These are things. And that is why when Chuko Kike does his thing, when God puts his hand in anything, and we Biafrans have decided to do, it's a whole different thing. And we will survive nonetheless. It will, one way or another, we will always find a way to survive. And survivor is one of the core things on our mind. We will survive, I am sure of it, 100% sure of it. None of these things that these people do or wake up to do is something that would affect us in any way. We are not moved at any point that, uh, um, we are not moved at any point in time. We are, we are ready to do the needful when the time comes for the needful to be done. And that is one thing about us. We are not, we are not shaking. The fact that, yes, we have more people joining us, we have more people agreeing to our cause, and this alone gives us more joy than you can ever imagine. And that is the truth of the matter. The fact that we have more people waking up each day saying that, ah, they are tired of this mess, or they are tired of the state of things. And they, remember, people, one thing is sure, these people do not know that the state they have put the country in has made it known to every person, or has made it um, everybody under you see this state, that you see this particular way we have found ourselves at this moment. It is something that we do not ever want to do. It is something that we we do not ever want to find ourselves in ever again. Because of what? Why? Because it is something very, very underwritten and bad. Because I do not understand how a country or a said country that has gained independence and everything would still be, would still be doing the things they do, it's still living like a lawless nation, still doing things like a lawless nation, a full-time lawless nation. And that is what pains people the most, the fact that these people think that they will be able to do the things they do and go scot free. Well, uh, at this particular point, we have come to that uh, decision, we have come to that uh, realization, we have come to every single thing to understand that uh, all these things that these people keep doing, they are not going to get us involved, we are not going to get uh, moved by it. The only thing that is going to happen is our progress from one way to another. We are going to succeed in everything we decided to put our hands into. And that is the truth of the matter. 
none of these things uh, that these people keep doing or keep saying would affect us because we are not affected by such. We are only affected by things that would give us joy, by things that would show us that uh, we are actually doing the needful. And uh, from the look of things, we are doing the needful and we are going to get there. None of these people would have the guts to stop us because we are there. If I, if I saying that we are there is an understatement, we have already gotten there. And so my people, we are not giving up and that is what these people think, think, think they have against us being ready or looking for where to give up we are not giving up anytime soon and that is the truth of the matter okay my people uh, we have uh, another one in our in our front right now that we are getting he says here that 44 fear 45 uh, has been feared dead uh, 45 headsmen have been feared dead uh, recently in Benue community and so it will be uh, they say 45 have been feared dead in Benue community uh, my people see the killings in Sankara exist, particularly Ukum, local government area of Benue State has uh, remained unbeaten because of the issues that have uh, been coming out ever since. He says that, however, unbeaten, resulting in the killing of about 45 persons in the area. However, the member in the Benue State uh, House of Assembly uh, Represents the Ukum State is constituency. Ezra in Yiyongo said about 20 people lost their lives in the incident. The incident which took place in Bage uh, community of Ukum local government area and also claimed the lives of a family of seven, left 30 persons with various degrees of injury, while scores have de been declared missing in the attack by the by the people who we are working with the members of a militia group in the area. In its bid to eliminate another militia group, Daily Independent learned that most of those people that were killed were members of the two rival militia gangs. However, while we gathered that, uh, that about 12 peasant farmers who were caught in the crossfire were among the dead, the people of Berge and its environs have been displaced following the killings in the area. A top military brass in operation were stroke opws who would not want his name in print confirmed the attack and second and the circumstances surrounding the incident he said these are militia men killing themselves yes we acknowledge that probably one or uh, one or two people may have been caught in the crossfire but the majority of the people that were killed are members of the militia gangs in the area currently we are in Kwande and are trying to contain the situation uh, in the area and as you can see calm has been really restored to the area we have been able to flush out the headsmen out of Kwande and can I can assure you normalcy will be restored soon but be that as it may our troops are in the area Ukum to ensure that the attack does not affect innocent people meanwhile the state commissioner of police Emmanuel Adeshina said more police officers have been deployed to the area to contain the situation Speaking on the condition of anonymity, a traditional ruler in the area explained that the fight started on recently and following a disagreement between one rival gang and the other who was backed by the headsman over the weekend. He stated that what followed was that another militia gang in the Ukum now went and joined forces with the Fulali militia gang in Taraba to help them eliminate the rival gang in Ukum. The excellence was to enable him be the head of the militia in Okrum. Okay, so uh, see the combined forces of the headsmen and militia gang started moving into the bushes of Bega in their hundreds from Sunday to sack the other rival gang. From what we gathered, over 45 persons were, were lost, or rather, who were mainly bandits were lost in the in the in the crossfires and uh, and though some farmers were also lost who were caught in the crossfire over 30 others were injured while some are also missing uh, my people so my people these uh, fulani people are giving issues to a whole lot of people not only people that are just wherever they are but every single person and these are not the people and these are the people we wake up and we give we are saying that in in you know where or it will land or in anambara wherever it is that we would wake up and give them a space or an opportunity in our land to stay and go and graze their fowls look at the amount of 
issues they are causing in their own place. Yes, in various states. So think about what these people will be able to do in our own state. Think about the, 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 the mayhem they would cause allowed and allowed into our land. Already, we already know that they have already been causing a whole lot of issues in our land. Now think about what they will do if we are now if we now give them that audacity to enter into our land and do whatever it is they seem uh, that is right for them my people it means we are sem uh, sentencing ourselves to death which would be the worst thing we could ever do to ourselves also yes my people this is it this is where we've come to the end of this particular broadcast thank you for joining us remember to subscribe and turn on your notifications too thank you